Good evening to those who listen. It's May 29th, 2023, 10.45 p.m. And here we got a dramatic video. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dramatic video um, showing a woman that they found. The woman they found at that collapsed building. Watch this. Wow. Unbelievable. This is from WQAD News. Channel 8 News, this is out of Moline, Illinois, but they do the whole Quad Cities. So here is the, the woman, and remember the mayor of Davenport, Iowa, announced earlier in the day that everyone was accounted for, and they were demolishing the building in the morning. They're doing a protest at 7 a.m., and now they're questioning whether they're going to demolish it. And a lot of people are questioning, how in the world can you demolish a building when you, there's still people unaccounted for? Plus all the pets that they've been, that they've seen. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She is alive. Oh my gosh. Oh Wow. So now to more in that emergency response as surgeon. Wow. So they got a lot of explaining to do because you can't announce. And when he when the mayor announced that, that went over all the national news for the whole entire country. All the news, the, the main news outlets put that story out there saying everyone was accounted for. And then, hours later, they discover a woman still in the building. Unbelievable. They're doing a thing, and it's on the other video, where the people that had pets to fill out reports that their pets are still in the building. They only have... Uh, 40 less than 45 minutes to report it and then they're going to see what they can do there was already reports that there are pets still in that building i don't know how many but there was reports that they still have pets in that building and they're supposed to do a full investigation i was watching another guy he's he said the same thing that i said too it's questionable how this uh building collapsed and I'll show you that in another video, I guess, because I don't want to make this one too long. But in that video, um, they just did inspection on the 25th. And this happened on the 28th. So three days after they passed the inspection, this building collapsed. So, wow. I don't know. This is just crazy stuff. If you feel compelled to call... The mayor's office tomorrow. Please go back in the last couple videos. I'll put it up real fast. And let this let the let them know. Do not demolish this building until all people and pets are out of this. Uh, the other guy was explaining. It says usually it takes a many number of days to be able to demolish a building because you have to get a crew to come in and evaluate it, how they're going to do it, and plan how they're going to demolish this. But they're trying to demolish this building so quickly, it makes things fishy. And a lot of people, I mean hundreds of people on Facebook that I've seen commenting are saying that this seems fishy. Why in the world would they demolish this building knowing that there could be people still in that building? And from what I've heard, there's still a man missing for sure. And then another person said there was two other people missing. I don't know if that one woman counts as one of those people. But there's still, that would at least mean there's two people unaccounted for at this point still. And meanwhile, in 12 hours or less, they're going to demolish this building, supposedly. I got a feeling they're not going to do it now because there's going to be too much pressure on them. And thank God there's people out there that care and that are, you know, speaking up. 
and they're going to go to the, the city hall tomorrow or the courthouse and they're going to protest. I'm not sure where they're going exactly, but they're going downtown to protest this because, you know, there still could be people. And just think, if they would have went through the, that demolition, say that that elderly woman that, that they rescued, say she was, uh, she was handicapped or, or disabled and, and she couldn't get to the window. You know, when she was wheelchair bound or bedridden or something, and then they demolished this building with her still in it. Could you imagine the outrage? This is incredibly crazy stuff, and I'm still going to try to go down. Jesus, getting late, and I got to work tomorrow. I really wish I didn't have to work tomorrow now because I want to, I want to be able to give you, you know, do the story on this and see, see what else comes of this. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I can do it. If I find out that they're going to de demolish the building at a certain time, I got to be at work at uh, 10. I got to work at 10.15, but I always get there early. So I got to be there around 10. So I would have to go early. If they demolish it earlier in the morning, I could maybe leave a little early and, and try to do a little video on it. But I don't know. Oh, wow. This is crazy stuff. Crazy. Right here in my... Hometown. I live about two miles away. Wow. Thanks for watching. God bless.